Tech it before you rock it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and this is another special edition here on the YouTube channel because I want to break down some of the brand new features that were just released on the ONN 4K Pro box. First, I'm gonna show you how to get this update if you haven't gotten this update automatically on your 4K Pro box yet. And then I'm gonna take you through three of the key new features that you're gonna notice on this new update. And you gotta stick around for the third one because I think that's one of the biggest updates we've had on Google TV in a long, long time. So let's get right to it. These are some of the features that we saw when the Google TV 4K streamer box came out just a few weeks ago. And I'm actually surprised that we got the update so quickly on this non Google box. If you're not familiar with the ONN 4K Pro streaming device, I did a hands on breakdown of this box. You can check that out here on my YouTube channel. It's an awesome Google TV box made by Walmart of all companies. And it's only 50 bucks, which is awesome. So this is the remote you might be familiar if you have this box the remote that comes with it. There's actually two remotes you can get with this box. Some people are getting backlit remotes. This is the non backlit version, but it does have that little star button that you can use for one of these new features. Okay, so let's jump right into this. I'm gonna shrink myself down. And one of the things that you'll notice with Google TV lately is that if you have multiple accounts, it's gonna give you the option to choose which account you wanna use. This is great if you have teens in your house or even multiple adults who just have different preferences because Google TV and the home screen has become so much more personalized with this main page being the for you page. This is based on things you've recently watched services you've recently used. And if you've got kids in the house versus adults or adults with different preferences, you're going to want this to be customized specifically to you. For example, my kids use my account. I didn't watch Henry danger. They did, but nonetheless, here it is in my account. So we should probably break accounts up in our house and maybe it's something you do, but that's a cool feature. That's part of Google TV. I'm not sure if that's new with this update, but I think it's something that's been here for a little while. First of all, let me show you how you get this update. What you want to do is navigate over to the gear icon right next to the Google TV logo and then select all settings. When you get into all settings, look for the system option and then uh, navigate over into the about option. And here you go. The first one in that menu says system update. If you click that, it'll go ahead and start checking for a system update right away. Now, in my case, your system is up to date. I've already got the update and you may have have the update available here. I'm not sure sometimes they roll these things out. So some people have to wait a little bit longer, totally random. Some people don't. Of course, you can always come back in here and select check for update to kind of check to see if the updates available if you're waiting for it. Let's go back to the home screen now and talk about some of the cool new features that I think are the highlights of this new update. First and foremost, we'll go over to the Google TV free play app. And this is an app that gives you access to free streaming channels. This is a new Google service. We've seen this for a few versions built into Google TV. Well, there's a huge new update with this new update. Okay, loading up Google TV free play and the interface has been much, much improved. Before it took you right into a channel and you had very little navigation. Now you get a full on TV guide navigation. I mean, I know this isn't a huge deal because other services, Tubi for example, have offered this for a while. So great to see Google TV offering this. This is built into the Google TV interface. So you already have this. And so if you're looking for free channels, there's a ton of stuff here. Much of it, of course, is ad support. Supported, but look at this, a Top Gear channel. You can't go wrong with that. You can navigate on the left here between different genres. And then if you see something that you want to watch, so for example, let's jump into AccuWeather all night and it'll stream AccuWeather for you. So I think this is great. This is the interface we used to have here, but now we've got that TV guide interface that we can jump to if we want to kind of get a better look at what's on, a bigger picture look at what's on TV right now. Okay, another new feature that's built into this has to do with the screen savers and it's one of the new Google AI features that's been updated. So if you go over to your settings icon and you'll see a screen saver option here, what that does is that turns the screensaver on, but look at the bottom of the screen and it says press down to change screensaver. So I'm going to press down and you've got Google photos, which we had before. You've got art gallery, which is kind of the default. It shows various pieces of artwork. And then now you've got custom AI art. What is this? Well, this is the new one from Google. So I'll click into there and these are actually pieces of AI artwork that I created. Let me go ahead and show you how I create a new one. So I'll hit create new and it, it can give you a different options. You can select one of these kind of default categories. You can select inspire me. I'm going to go to describe your idea. 
So I'm gonna use the microphone for this so we can do it quickly. And I'm going to describe a piece of artwork and see what it does here. A beautiful nature scene with mountains in the background, everything made out of Lego. Isn't that cool? So here we created this mountain picture, this piece of artwork, and you can see the trees sort of look like they're made out of Lego. So I'm going to hit save. I could generate again or start over. I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna hit done. And if I go back, you'll see it's now uh, inside my little gallery here. I can manage images, which lets me erase images. So like these robots, for example, I'm going to delete these and then I can set all as screensaver. And so now my screensaver will be the AI images that I created. At the end of the day, this is nothing more than, there you go, there's one of the Lego images I created earlier. At the end of the day, this is nothing more than an AI image generator that happens to be built into the screensaver tool here on Google TV, but, you know, I think it's cool, and it's cool to have it here uh, on the actual ONN 4K Pro Box. So I do want to mention, I'm not going to get into it too much, but there is sort of more AI, they say, built into the recommendation tool, the top picks for you here. Um, you know, it, it, a lot of this is kind of done in the background, and you're going to have to play around with that, see how that works out for you. But that's not something I can easily kind of display to you or show you here, but that is kind of one of the updates with this new version of Google TV. Okay, so this is the one I was talking about that I think is the biggest update that we've seen yet here on Google TV, and this is Google Home integration. So the new Streamer 4K box has a hub built into it, which is great, but if you don't have that box, if you just have the ONN 4K Pro box, for example, you don't necessarily have a, a, a hub built into it, but maybe you already have a hub. I do. Maybe you already have smart devices in your house. I know I do. So this lets you control those devices right here in the settings menu. And take a look, here it is, Google Home, CRCO Home. This is my Google Home setup. I've already got this setup on my phone. I use it all the time. And when I click this, it's gonna give me a very similar interface to what I'm used to on my actual phone. And so I've got my lighting right here, I've got climate, I've got my two thermostats in my house, I've got a live camera uh, from my Google Home device in my kitchen, isn't that cool? And so I can adjust my thermostats right here, I could go into lighting and I could see all the different lighting in my house that's connected here to my smart hub and I could control that. Again, you've gotta have this stuff set up already or set up to a hub or somehow set up with Google Home, but anything that connects to Google Home is going to come up in here and you'll be able to see it. it does say camera unavailable i'm not sure why it says that but if you click on it it'll show you a full screen shot of that camera which is very cool i love this again this is right there in the settings menu and my first thought is there's got to be an easier way to get to it so the fastest way i found to get to it with the 4k pro is by using this little star button in the corner so if you hold down the star button i'm going to hold it down it brings up the menu giving you the option to select what you want to use that button for so you could use it for your favorite app, you could use it for an input button. I use it to go to Google Home, which is now a new option in here because you have that Google Home built into your Google TV software. Tap that, you can create the shortcut, and you're good to go. So now, no matter where you are in Google TV, anytime you hit that little star button on the remote, and I'm gonna hold this remote up for you, and anytime I hit that star button, it jumps right into the Google Home interface. How convenient is that if you use Google Home to control things? Maybe you have one of those Google doorbells or a Google Home device, or like me, you've got Nest thermostats, smart lighting. Just a great way if you're sitting and watching TV and you wanna turn some lights off or you wanna adjust the temperature or you wanna look at the, the camera on the back of your house perhaps. That's a great way to do it. I think the star button is the perfect thing to use this for and I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest with you, if in the future we start seeing a Google Home button right there on the remote. Don't be surprised if you start to see that. Well, I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you're using the ONN 4K Pro Box, throw a comment below. I read every single comment. I'd love it if you test me, because I do. I reply back to almost every comment that I can. And I'd love to know if this is something you're excited about. I think this is one of the biggest updates. I really think for those of us who use the Google Home features, the smart home features, this update is huge for us. And it's so great to see that this device, the ONN 4K, which is not 
a Google manufactured device. It's made by Walmart. Got this update so fast, and I hope this is just a sign of more to come from Google TV. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow, and I've got a lot more cool videos coming your way. So I'd love it if you become part of the community here on YouTube. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.